information that's in your corner. You're watching Fox 4 News at 6. Students in Hendry County will not be returning to the classrooms for the start of the school year this fall. The school board voted all students kindergarten through 12th grade will attend school online. For in your corners, Christina Evans shows what that will look like for students and teachers. On August 24th in Hendry County, the first day of school will look a little different than previous years. But I would rather take the time now than to bring school back and we have a, a bad outbreak as has happened in Indiana and Georgia and have to close school anyway. The school district made the decision Tuesday night at a board meeting for all learning to go online for the foreseeable future. Teachers will still be in their classrooms, but they will be in there alone. Nobody else will be in the classroom, but then the teacher will have their however many students they have accessible. Students will still be assigned to a teacher, but they will attend class live over the internet. This is all due to COVID-19 concerns. At this time, Superintendent Paletti says he can't pinpoint a date when students will physically return to their classrooms. When we work with our State Department of Health in Henry County, we will assess once it starts, we will assess all of the data to determine when brick and mortar can open. The votes move schools online past four to one, but not without some opposition. What percentage of students passed when we did the virtual? Ultimately, it was the current 20% positivity rate for children under 18 that led to the board's decision to not start face-to-face -face learning. According to the Florida Department of Health, the total number of coronavirus cases in Hendry County stands at 1,691 with 37 deaths. This is compared to Lee County reporting 15,961 cases of the virus with 317 deaths. Despite the higher numbers in Lee County, the district still expects over 30,000 students to return to the classrooms for the first day of school, August 31st. The Hendry County superintendent says this is not a risk he is willing to take. At this time, it's not clear if the school district could face any legal action for not having an in-person option for the first day of school. But the superintendent did tell me that he hopes it's only a matter of time before all students are able to go back into the classrooms. In Cape Coral, Christina Evans, Fox 4 in your corner.